Okay, assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to continue our discussion in chapter 5, states of matter. Alright, so state of matter is divided, okay, can be divided into uh, four part, which is 5.1 gas, then 5.2 liquids, 5.3 solids, and 5.4 phase diagram. So in this video, we are going to continue our discussion in chapter 5.1 gas. Alright, so the learning outcomes for this topic is we are going to explain the qualitatively the basic assumptions of the kinetic molecular theory of gases for an ideal gas. Then we are going to define gas laws, which is uh, we have three gas laws. The first one is Ball's law, Charles law, and Avogadro's law. And then the third one we are going to sketch and interpret the graph of Ball's and Charles law. So let us look into the learning outcome. For F, which is, we are going to define Dalton's law and then explain the ideal and non-ideal behaviors of gases in terms of intermolecular forces and molecular volume. And we are going to explain the conditions at which real gases approach the ideal behavior. So let us look at the three states of matter. So we have solid, liquid, and gas. So, the properties of gas is it have a shape which is uh, it take the shape of the container which is occupied. Meaning that uh, kalau kita letak di dalam bekas yang membentuk square, okay, ataupun uh, cube, so dia akan membentuk cube. Kalau kita letak uh, gas in a container yang membentuk uh, spherical, dia akan membentuk spherical. Okay. And then number two, the volume of a gas equals to the volume of the container ok, dia memenuhi uh, isi padu seperti isi padu bekas and then the third one is compressibility ok, keboleh manfaatan which is the gas are highly compressible ok, and then the density ok, ketumpatan gas are much lower densities ok, compared to uh, liquids dan juga solids and then flow it is a uh, flow more freely okay dia mengalir dengan lebih bebas where it can move randomly in straight lines okay and then uh, miscibility which is keboleh uh, larutan okay it mix completely when put together in the same container okay so kinetic molecular theory of gases okay kinetic molecular theory of gases is a model to explain the behavior of gases particles and is based on extensive observations of the behavior of gases okay and then if the gas follows all the postulate and kinetic molecular theory it is said to be an ideal gas okay so kita boleh katakan dia merupakan ideal gas okay all right so kita ada empat okay we have four basic assumptions okay anggapan asas in kinetic molecular theory so the first one is volume of gases are uh, gases molecule are negligible compared to the volume of its container. Okay, the intermolecular forces between the gas molecules are negligible. Collision between gas molecules are perfectly elastic, and the average kinetic energy of molecules is proportion proportional to the absolute temperature. So, the physical behavior of gas can be described by four parameters, which is the first one is quantity, okay, which is number of mole, and number two is the volume, okay, V, and then three is temperature, T, and four is pressure, P. So, the concept of pressure, okay. So, pressure is a force exerted on the surface area results from the collisions of a gas molecules with one another and with the walls of the container. So the gas pressure is a pressure exerted by a gas and it is caused by the collisions of the gas molecules with the walls of the container. So the SI unit for concept uh, for pressure is Pascal. Okay, which is one Pascal is equal to one Newton per meter square and equal to kilogram per meter 
per square. Sorry, kilogram per meter per second square. Okay, one atm is equal to seven six zero millimeter mercury or seven six zero tall, and which is equal to one o one three two five pascal or one o one three two five newton per meter square. Next, Ball's law. Okay, Ball's law states that at a con at constant temperature. The volume of a fixed amount of gas is inversely proportional to the gas. Okay, uh, meaning that kalau temperature is constant, okay, so volume of a gas okay, is inversely proportional to the pressure. Okay, V is directly proportional to 1 over P. So pulling up increases the volume and decreases the pressure. And pushing down decreases the volume and increases the pressure. So, when V is directly proportional to 1 over P, a constant temperature and number of mole, okay, PV is equal to K, okay, when we express it in mathematics, where K is proportionality constant, okay, per kali, per kadaran. So, for a system that guesses, uh, that changes P and V, P1 times V1 equal to P2 times V2, where P1 is initial pressure, V1 is initial volume, P2 is final pressure, and V2 is final volume. So, let, let us look into the example. So, the gas in a volume has... Sorry, the gas in a balloon has a volume of 4 liter at 100 kilopascal. The balloon is released into the atmosphere and the gas in it expands to a volume of 8 liter. And what is the pressure of the balloon at a new volume? So, now we have uh, volume 1, okay, volume 1 before it released the balloon. Then pressure 1 is 100 kilopascal and volume 2 is 8 liter and we are asked to find P2. So this one we use Ball's law. Okay, which is Ball's law states that okay, P1 times V1 equal to P2 times V2. Where we have the pressure 1 is 100 kilopascal and then volume 1 is 4 liter. Okay. So, uh, pressure 2, okay, we're going to find pressure 2, and then volume 2 is 8 liter. So, we can find pressure 2, which is 500 kilo pascal. Okay, alright, so this is the using of Ball's Law. So, Ball's Law can be represented graphically as shown below. Okay, so the first one pressure against volume okay which is pressure is inversely proportional to volume so pressure is against 1 over v okay so if 1 over v kita akan dapat the straight line graph okay pressure is directly proportional to 1 over v and then volume against 1 over P, which is volume is directly proportional to 1 over P. So PV against P, kita akan dapat constant graph. Next, Charles Law. Okay, Jack Charles observed that at constant pressure, the volume of a gas expands when heated and contracts when cooled. So V, okay, when V increase, okay, after we heat the balloon and then when we cool down, the volume will decrease. So Charles Law states that at constant pressure, the volume of a fixed amount of gas is directly proportional to the absolute temperature of a gas. So mathematically expressed as V is directly proportional to temperature, meaning that 
when temperature increase, volume will increase. Or when volume increase, temperature will increase at constant volume, pressure and number of mole. So, V is equal to K times T or V over T is equal to K where K is proportionality constant. So, for a system that change uh, temperature and volume, okay, bila kita ada dua volume, we have two temperature. So, V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2 where V1 is initial volume, T1 is initial temperature. V2 is final volume and T2 is final temperature. Jadi kalau kita ada volume 1, kita boleh cari temperature 1 and volume 2 and temperature 2. So T is equal to absolute temperature meaning that we must use in Kelvin. Okay, temperature must be in Kelvin. Okay, so uh, a balloon inflated in a room at 24 degrees Celsius has a volume of 4 liter and the balloon is then heated to a temperature of 58 degrees Celsius or is the new volume of if the pressure remain constant ok so for this question you are given temperature 1 in 24 degrees Celsius and temperature, temperature 2 given is 58 degrees Celsius and volume 1 given is 4 liter so you are required to find volume 2 so temperature di dalam degree Celsius kita mesti tukar kepada Kelvin sebab kita nak uh, absolute temperature so the solution kita akan gunakan uh, V1 over T1 Charles law eh? V1 over T1 equal to V2 over T2 so 4 liter over 295.15 Kelvin so to convert degree Celsius to Kelvin kita tambah dengan okay, degree Celsius the value of degree Celsius okay, kita plus with 273.15 Kelvin ok, dia boleh kita tambah kita dapat 295.15 Kelvin dan di sebelah kita dapat 331.15 Kelvin ok, so uh, V2 is equal to 4 liter times 331.15 Kelvin over 297.15 Kelvin so we got 4.46 liter ok, alright so, just law can be represented graphically as shown below. So, kita ada uh, V against D graph. Okay. Uh, kita dapat straight line where uh, the absolute temperature is negative 273.15 and then V against temperature in Kelvin. Okay. And then the combination of Wall's law and Charles law, V is directly proportional to 1 over P and V is directly proportional to temperature so kita combine T over P V is directly proportional to T over P and then V is equal to K T over P so kita akan dapat P V over T equal to K so, hence for system that change in pressure, volume and temperature P1 times V1 over temperature 1 equal to P2 times volume 2 over temperature 2 so, Avogadro's law states that at constant temperature and pressure, the volume of a gas is directly proportional to the number of moles of the gas. Meaning that, okay, bila volume of the gas increase, okay, number of moles of the gas also increase. Okay, so kalau kita ada 1 atm pressure, okay, at 1 atm pressure, the volume that occupy a uh, gas is 22.4 liter which is number of mole dia bersamaan dengan 1 mol. then bila kita add a gas ok kepada 2 mol, volume dia akan increase kepada 44.8 liter ok this one for the temperature pressure 1 atm ok so mathematically it is expressed as V is directly proportional to N at constant temperature dan juga pressure so, V is equal to K times N. So, V over N is equal to K. Jadi, boleh kita combine. Okay. N dan V. V1 over N1 equal to V2 over N2. So, we have this example. The volume of gas balloon. Okay. Volume of gas filled balloon is 30 liter at 40 degrees Celsius and 1148 millimeter mercury of pressure. What volume will the balloon have at STP? So at STP, okay, 
STP meaning that standard temperature pressure jadi pressure pada standard temperature kita letakkan sebagai 1 atm which is 1 atm equal to 760 mm mercury kenapa kita kena letak kepada 760 mm mercury because pressure 1 is given di dalam mm mercury ok 1148 mm mercury so V1 equal to 30 liter over T1 equal to 40 degree celsius which is equal to 313.15 Kelvin and temperature 2 is 0 degree Celsius why 0 degree Celsius? because at STP temperature yang kita ambil adalah 273.15 Kelvin jadi as a solution pressure 1 times volume 1 over temperature 1 equal to pressure 2 times volume 2 over temperature 2 so this one is uh, Charles dan juga Bohr's law jadi kita akan dapat 1148 mm mercury times 30 liter over 313.15 kelvin so this is temperature 1 and then this is pressure 1 this is volume 1 so this one is pressure 2 this is volume 2 okay, volume 2 yang kita nak cari and then this one is temperature 2 so volume 2 is equal to 1148 mm mercury times 30 liter so Volume 2 is equal to 39.5 liter. Okay, so kita nak cari volume 2. Okay, the last one kita tengok kepada Dalton's Law. Dalton's Law of partial pressure states that the total pressure of mixture of non-reactant gases is the sum of the partial pressures exerted by each gas in the mixture. For mixture of two gases A and B, P total is equal to PA plus PB where PA and PB is equal to partial pressure of gases A and gases B so P total equal to total pressure of the mixture so at constant temperature dan juga volume where we have gas A, gas B and gas C pressure what? pressure is 1 atm, this one pressure is 2 atm this one pressure is 0.5 atm so mixture of these three gases A plus B plus C equal to 1 atm plus 2 atm plus 0.5 atm which is P total is equal to 3.5 atm ok alright so that's all for this video thank you class